Hi everybody, welcome back to the Claremont Classic Garage. Today I'm going to show you a couple of things that turned up here yesterday. Well, before we get started, what do you think of our winter wonderland here at the Claremont Classic Garage? Uh, this came last night. Hopefully throughout the day today it'll melt because uh, the ground's not cold yet. So the snow's just sitting on top of the grass. It's kind of insulated from the ground. Um, hopefully it won't stick around too long. We got this little aid in. Um, don't know really too much about it, except that it's a front distributor. So it's, you know, in the 1948 to early 50 range. We're going to see here if we can, if we could see the serial number on it. Sometimes they're easier to see than others. Where's my flashlight? If you shine some light across them sometimes you can. Uh, this one might not be too easy to read. Give me a second. So it's it's really, really hard to see, but the closest I can get on the serial number is 8N45681 with a star at each end. We'll go in and, and um, I'll show you on the chart how to figure out what that all means. And the casting date of the engine is A198. Um, A being January, the 19th of 1948. So this is a 1948 8N, just like the one we've got inside the shop, although not as early a one. All right, so I did a fast search on Google and found out that January the 19th, 1948 was a Monday. So that's when that block was cast. Um, the serial number, 8N45681, you can see the 1948 range is from 37908 to 141369 so that that is accurate so we know we've got uh we've got this serial number probably correct lost my focus there we go as um 45681 is a pretty early serial number for 1948 additionally the stars at either end of the serial number indicate that this engine is equipped with the earlier thin wall steel cylinder liners. Uh, later ones you'll see diamonds at either end of the serial number. That means it's got the thicker cast iron liners. So um, the beauty of the early ones with the thin wall sleeves is that if the engine block somehow becomes damaged, you can bore it out and use the later thick wall sleeves. So what we're going to do now is go evaluate it a little bit. At least it came with a grill. They hardly ever do because they hardly ever have brakes that work. So the grill is the brakes. Um, it's got a nice original radiator in it. That's good. Another thing I noticed, um, even though it's got the proper 1948 8N engine on it, it has um, a 9N or 2N cylinder head. Uh, stuff like that happens you know, the head gets cracked or the engine gets rebuilt and a lot of things can happen. It is the front distributor, which is, which is correct. I do see it's got the, the tube for the, the wiring. That's good. There's six volt battery still in it. It's got the early steering box. It hasn't been changed up to the later one. Um, the clutch linkage, I'm sure this one had the revised linkage already from the factory. I think it was probably only the first couple of thousand tractors that had the, the oddball um, early clutch linkage. Steering box actually doesn't seem too bad. The early boxes are, are pretty hard to find a good one. Um, all four tires are junk. The front um hubs you can see it's got car wheels on um modified 9n hubs that's pretty interesting <laughs> right now i guess what we'll do is um see if the engine turns over it does have um an original 8n muffler but it's totally rotted away the carburetor is still on it so there's there's lots of stuff here Let's see if she'll turn over. 
I gave it a go. Unfortunately, she's locked up tight. So uh, we'll have to pull the cylinder head off. It comes off easily and dump a bunch of stuff down there and see if we can break it free. Um, so unfortunately, in all likelihood, this 8N will just be a part out. Um, I hate doing that, but sometimes they're just too tough to fix. I think the hat wheels on the back, they're the original ones. They're, they're still good. The lift arms are probably okay. That one's kind of bent. There's tons and tons of good stuff here. The dash isn't really cut up too much. Got an excellent parts tractor. The fenders are banged up pretty badly. Um, so I should probably go for parts. Along with the 8N came this little Toro lawnmower. It's called a Star Lawn. It's a trike. And it's got a little, I think it's a 27 inch reel mower on the back some kind of little horizontal shaft engine it's it's truly adorable i hope we can get it going my guess is the engine is seized but um because you can see the cords pulled all the way out and it didn't go back in but who knows we're gonna have a look at it we're gonna start by chasing it down by the serial number and seeing what we can find out about it but um I think this thing would be a hoot if it was fixed up. Here's the controls. I guess that uh, that probably turns the mower on and off. Or maybe one of them will lift it and one of them will engage it. Here's your sole control here. You've got no brakes, no forward and reverse. It, it just goes. Um, I guess you stop it by either put your feet down or jump off. <laughs> I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll see what we can find out about it. A little Googling and we were able to determine that this is a Toro Starlon Pony Rider. Um, I found a copy of the manual online and printed it off. And on the first page of the manual that I downloaded, it has 1957 written on it. Which, from looking at the thing, I'd say that's probably pretty accurate. This thing is from the, the mid-50s. But it's as good. It's got parts breakdown and everything. It's a Briggs and Stratton engine on it. That's what I was hoping. So um, I should be able to find parts for that if I need them. This might be a pretty, pretty fun little project. Here's all your, um, here's your lineup. Pretty cool. So there's ours there, 27 inch pony. Hmm. And this here is a power unit, and look at all the stuff you can get for it. It's it'd be like a like a self-propelled um, garden tractor type of thing for the homeowner. So that's pretty cool. Anyhow, once I'm done with this here truck, we'll see if we can get the little Toro in here and um, see what we can find out about it. See if the engine's free and stuff like that. So anyway, that's the uh, introduction of those two uh, pieces of equipment. The 8N, unfortunately, it's it's pretty tough. It's probably just going to go for parts. Um, when you've got four bad tires and a seized engine, uh, what it would cost you to fix the thing, it's, it's just not worth it. When there's so many of them around here that can use bits and pieces from it. So it'll probably go for parts, but we're going to try our absolute best to fix up that little Toro lawnmower because it looks like a, a hoot and it'll be a really fun project. Anyway, um, thanks for tuning in as usual. Please down below, hit the subscribe button and, and the, the like button. That helps us out a lot with our channel. And until next time, this is Kevin checking out from the Claremont Classic Garage. So long.